So that's it, JJ. Your task as an intelligence agent is to keep an eye on one rat, so to speak, who has taken up residence in our station. This guy has recently started doing terrible things, and complaints are often filed against him. I think you know perfectly well what kind of person he is. Your friend Mikey. Mikey? Well, I can't believe it. He works here too, and are you sure you haven't mixed anything up? Absolutely not, because all suspicions fall on him. Especially since his behavior has recently become even worse than it was. I get it. Remind me again what I should do? Your task is to keep an eye on him as much as possible. Collect all the information that will prove that he is a rat and that he is to blame for everything bad he has done. Collect as much as possible. How you will do it is at your discretion. So good luck to you, JJ. Hmm, I can't believe that Mikey is capable of this. What happened in his life that he became, uh, what did he become, a rat or something? Ugh, what kind of abomination is this and why do they call him that? Stand still, buddy. How could you not pay the fine? Did you think you could just get away with it? Forgive me, no, don't hit me. I just, I didn't know you were coming for me. Now you'll find out, you dirty, stupid body. And aren't you ashamed to behave like that before the letter of the law? I'm the law here. Hey, Mikey, what's going on here? Can you tell me? Hi, JJ. Look, this monster owes a fine, so I had to beat him out of it by force. Mikey, you're a cop. You're supposed to set an example and not act like a thug. Is that how the police work? How do you know how they work? And in general, JJ, get out of here and don't bother me while I work! Yes! It seems that my boss was right. Mikey has simply become some kind of disgusting monster who simply asserts himself at the expense of the weak using his status as a policeman. Mikey is just a pathetic body. But I didn't just come here. I came here to keep an eye on Mikey. And I just thought that the best way to keep an eye on Mikey is to build a mini base right under his house. That way I can constantly keep an eye on Mikey and know his every move. But first, I need to make a territory for my shelter here. I don't think it'll take long. So I dug a hole here, which means now it's time to put up supports and walls. And then I can continue building my shelter. I'll be here to keep an eye on Mikey, as I said, in order to know his every move and send all the information about him to headquarters. Anyway, it looks like I'm doing great, actually. It turns out that it will look quite decent. I'll be able to live here fully, but I also need to set up cameras around Mikey's house in order to know what he's doing there. Hmm, I wonder of course what else he can do and why he is being followed so much. What bad thing did Mikey do? I myself have become very interested. I'm a little surprised about Mikey. I never would have thought that he was capable of something so uh, that they would call me to follow him or maybe they really were wrong. Although looking at how Mikey beat up that poor villager and stole his money, just like a bandit. And how is Mikey better? If he's a policeman and allows himself to behave like this, then this is extremely disgusting and awful. He's behaving unprofessionally. This is just awful, Mikey. I can't believe that you're capable of this. He surprised me, of course. But I still can't understand why they decided that Mikey was a rat. Did he set someone up or betrayed someone? However, I'm very glad that I've already managed to make a rather cozy place here. And what I like here. Only now I have to decide what to do with the cameras. I have to keep an eye on Mikey. But to do this, I have to install cameras to listen to what he says there and record video fragments. I even have all sorts of equipment here so that I can normally keep an eye on Mikey and send everything to headquarters. But I have to get to Mikey's house to set up cameras there. And I've already thought of a trick, actually. But since Mikey is home now, he can notice me at any moment. I have to wait until it gets dark and only then act. So I'll have to wait here a little. Ah, I'm really hungry. I knew I had to eat before bed. I can't just go to bed like that. I think I'll go grab a bite to eat, especially since I have some hamburgers there. So, 
Come on, go already. Because I've thought of something. With this trick, I can now set up cameras around Mikey's house, but I have to do everything so quietly that he doesn't notice me. So my job now is to set up cameras here because I already have to start my operation to spy on Mikey to find at least something that, let's say it will confirm that Mikey is acting badly, but, and how exactly is it bad? Am I supposed to find out what his secret plans are or something? Well, apparently that's the case, because if Mikey is acting so dishonestly, then apparently he has something to hide, and maybe he is preparing an attack somewhere. So, oh, I need to move down quickly, Bo. Well, I ate a little, so now I'm happy. I will sleep more peacefully. I hope I don't run to the toilet in the middle of the night. So, some time has passed, so I think I can start spying on Mikey. The cameras seem to be working, and I can hear what Mikey is saying. I'll just start connecting to them a little bit now, and we can begin. So I connected to the cameras, and now I'm going to watch Mikey. It seems like all the recordings and the microphone are working. That is, I will be able to hear what Mikey is saying normally. So I think it's time to start, because so much time has passed, and... Oh my god! I have to get up again! I'm so sick of all this, but very soon everything will change because I'm soon going to become very rich and I won't have to waste time being a cop. Hey, hi, are you ready? Well then come on in here quickly. We need to discuss something. Come on in because now is a great time. Come on, I'm waiting. What the, what is he talking about? I don't understand something. What, what is that he has there? What the? Who was Mikey talking to on the phone? What are you doing there? Coming, yes? Hi! So how are you doing? So ready to pull off the heist of the century? I'm really glad you agreed. Okay, Mikey. You know we're almost ready. We just need to make a plan and gather the gear. Did you find the contacts? Sure! Let's go to our meeting place. We'll need to discuss everything there. Ah, so that's how it is. So Mikey is working in parallel with someone from the police. So there are not one but two traitors or something? Well, and I also found out that Mikey is preparing some kind of robbery of the century, as he said it. Hmm, I wonder what that could mean. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling you that I found the gear. We just need to go there and buy everything from the merchant. But here's the problem. We need to come up with infiltration plan. We have to act very quietly so that no one knows it was us. Anyway, we'll figure it out now so that no one hears us. What kind of infiltration plan? Where? Mikey just starts breaking the law and wants to rob something or someone or something? I don't like all this. And look, it seems like he has not one partner, but two. They have a whole gang of police there. So that's it. Basically, my job at the moment is to just take and rearrange the cameras in their new location so that I can understand and listen to what they and they are saying because I can't hear anything. But I can tell that they are planning something. And apparently, yes, my boss was right because they are planning some kind of robbery. So that's it, guys. We have gathered here to rob a bank again. This time we need to come up with a plan, and in my opinion, the best option is this. One of you will start a fire in the toilet, and the fire alarm will go off. Everyone will start evacuating the building, and at that moment, I will break into the security on the roof and cut the locks in the vault. I hope that you... Great! Thanks for the card key. In general, that's our task. Ah, so that's how it is. That is, after all, Mikey and his company decided to rob some bank? Well, that's terrible, and I'll soon send all the data and evidence to headquarters so they can listen to what I managed to record. And now, Mikey, I take it that you went to buy something. Probably some equipment ha in order to climb onto the roof and rob a bank? I wonder what that is in your hands. Hey, friend. Hi, I need something here. Wow, Mikey, what, what are you doing here? Yeah, I decided to buy something. I want to go rock climbing. That's why I took the ropes and equipment. Huh, interesting. So you're going somewhere, right? Can I come with you? That 
That's very dangerous, DJ. I don't advise you to do that. Especially since you don't really understand such things. So, you better sit quietly today and watch the news. Good luck to you. Hmm. Interesting. Rock climbing, you mean? That's what you called your dirty activity. Well then, I think it's time to ruin this whole bank robbery for them. Well then, I think this gear can handle me. Well, why not? It's actually designed for heavy weight. And my task now is to hack the switchboard so that I can calmly turn off all the protection. And then I will have access to the vault. And then I can calmly go in there. Great. Being a cop is so-so. There is never any money and many criminals get away with it. Well then, why shouldn't I become a criminal? So, it turns out that Mikey deliberately hacked the bank's protection so that it couldn't work. Namely, the vault. In that case, they will be able to steal money from there. But for them to succeed, his other partner will now start a fire in the bank. And as I understand it, an alarm will start there. And consequently, the bank staff will start to evacuate. Well then, I understood their plan and prepared long ago. But they don't even suspect it. Guys, guys, let's evacuate from here quickly. Come on, let's. The police have arrived, so we'll decide what to do there now. I don't understand what happened here. Is there a fire in the bank or something? Oh my god. We need to save people from there urgently because they could have stayed there. I'll go inside and look for them. Oh, you dirty liars. So that's how you decided to deceive them all. They started the fire themselves and pretended that they were heroes who were now evacuating the entire population and saving people. But that's not true at all. And I have proof of it. So you won't escape justice, my friends. Especially you, Mikey. And what the hell is this? I don't understand what kind of car arrived here. Is this their support or something? Oh, I get it. We need to get the valuables out somehow. Well, guys, I stole everything. So come on, let's get in and get out of here. We have nothing more to do here, guys. Let's go. Anyway, I see that Mikey is very happy that he managed to grab the money from the bank. But why did I stand there and do nothing to stop him? Well, I already deceived Mikey, actually, because he doesn't know that the money he stole is counterfeit money. Fake. The most ordinary pieces of paper printed on a printer. But I decided to replace the diamonds and emeralds and insert beacons there so that it would be easier for me to track Mikey. When did I manage to do this? Well, the agreement with the owner of the bank and provided him with all the evidence of what Mikey wanted to do and what happened in the end. In the end, he allowed me to place fake money in his vault with pieces of blue stone that imitates the fact that these are diamonds. Anyway, I deceived Mikey very badly, and they all, together with their team, simply fell into my trap. Because they caught my beacon that was in the money, and therefore, using the beacon, I will be able to find where Mikey is and organize a raid on him. Especially since I've already gotten all the data on where Mikey is. So I'm just suggesting that we head there now to find him there and catch him. So, so, their car arrived here, which means that they're somewhere very close. Oh yeah, here they are. They're standing there and doing something. And what are you up to, huh? Anyway, I understand that they came here because they have some kind of secret hideout here. They wouldn't just come here like that. So yeah, that's probably it. So, what are you going to do? Mikey gives them instructions and then drives off somewhere. I need to find out where Mikey went. And apparently to find out, I first need to pin down that cop and interrogate him a little. I think he went to that hideout alone, but I need to be very careful. I'll knock him out now. Hey, you stop, stupid robber. I know what you did. Now tell me right now where Mikey went. Oh, so that's how it works? Well, it's okay. You're going to tell me everything now. I won't let him get away like that. Well then, <laughs> now you're going to tell me where Mikey went. I'm listening. Why did you decide that I'm going to tell you anything? I'll personally throw you in a pit to rot. Now you're going to tell me everything. I'm going to use the elixir of truth on you, and you're going to tell only the truth. Come on, I'm listening. Okay, okay, enough. I'll tell you everything. Do you want to know where Mikey went? To the police station? Why? You robbed a bank? What nonsense! 
Nonsense or not, it's up to you to decide. But he went there because he wanted to start a fire and then pretend to save all the policemen there, so that they could make a hero out of him. Hmm. Very interesting. I would never have thought of that. Why sit here for now? And I'm heading back to the police station. I wonder how they came up with all this. It's even funny somehow. I'll warn everyone now what Mikey is up to, especially since I recorded that conversation with that cop. So, I have evidence against him. Boy, so how are you doing? Did you get all my reports? I said everything I could find out about Mike, but I came back with new evidence that Mike is planning a terrorist attack on this site. Here are my audio recordings. What the? So I got you. Good thing you warned us. Then we'll get ready and trap Mike. I already found out what he did. He's done so much he could be getting a lot of time behind bars. Yeah, that's right. He robbed a bank and he was terrible. He doesn't deserve to be a cop. Thank you, JJ, for your work. Hey guys, hurry up and run! The territory's on fire! What the? Hey, hey! Stop, Mikey, you're under arrest, you dirty bank <laughs> robber. Yeah, Mikey, I knew it all. I was watching you, and now everyone knows who you really are. DJ, did you betray me? How dare you betray your friend? You, Mikey, deserve what you deserve, and you're gonna get it. So don't you dare argue with the law. Great job, guys. Mikey's under arrest and going to jail. And those other so-called cops are fake. We'll arrest them too. They'll be reading bedtime stories to each other in their cells. Well done, JJ, keep it up.